from May 2018 to May 2019, I was fortunate enough to be able to track Florida pine snakes for the FWC in Florida. Our study was to uh, find out their home ranges, how far they traveled uh, within a, a track of land to establish a home range. And our study was to see what that home range was to kind of get an understanding of what size of a track of land they need. Um, uh, the study was one of the best years of my life. Every day was something exciting, something new. And I got to see a pine snake when I went out for sure tracking them. And if I didn't see one, they'd, at least I knew where they were because it'd be underground in a burrow, a uh, tortoise burrow, a mammal burrow, some type of burrow, or they'd be hiding in a bush, which I actually got to see those, which was very interesting. This video will be about my adventures for that year. Uh, lots of things that I saw, the very interesting animals and the sand hills. So let's get at it and take a look. During this time in the field, I studied up to 15 pine snakes, all with radio transmitters. I tracked them four times a week and kept notes on each snake in our study, which was to find out their home range and habitat. Pine snakes in Florida prefer upland and sandal habitats from central Florida to north Florida. They also inhabit prairies in southern Florida, which seems a little odd compared to their northern habits which is upland sandhill habitat. Florida pine snakes range is about three quarters of a mile to one mile. I learned that the pine snakes spent 70 to 80 percent of the time underground in burrows such as gopher tortoise burrows and pocket gopher burrow systems. I never really noticed them making any burrows of their own. They all seem to inhabit some type of mammal burrow. They spent most of the cold days in these burrows. You can observe this if you watch my video, Ghost of the Sand Hills, in which I show the pine snakes where they were found during the winter months in Florida. They spent most of the cold days in burrows. The pocket gopher burrows were highly used in the winter months. Pine snakes in my study fed mostly on mammals, that being pocket gophers, cotton rats, and small rabbits. Many times, while I was tracking one of the pine snakes, it was hunting a small rabbit. In fact, one time, one was tracked eating a small rabbit. One of the uh, food sources for the Florida pine snake in the springtime was turkey eggs. We would find them on the nest tracked right on the nest and they had been eating turkey eggs. One snake was uh, was there pretty full, full of eggs. I checked it the next day and there was just one egg on the nest. Per my observations in the field, I noticed that pine snakes seemed to stay close to a burrow while basking. Once detected, they tried to find their way back to the small burrow entrance or gopher tortoise entrance. I would find small holes that they came out of from inside a pocket gopher system. It would seem in finding their way back to these burrows that they almost were tracking their scent to find the burrow opening, probing the ground, looking for the hole. They prefer dark bushes to bask under in the hot weather and in cooler weather could be found in a bush also with some of their loops of body exposed so the sunshine could help them thermoregulate. Another observation I made was that these large snakes would still bask even on very cold days while in the shedding process. I came to the conclusion that going dormant would only extend their shed process longer than probably they wanted 
thus keeping their body temperature up kept them from going dormant, shutting down their system and not being able to shed as soon. The pine snakes I studied bred during the spring months from April to June. Some of my females were tracked in burrows with several different males in different times. These large snakes are on the decline in Florida from habitat loss and fragmentation due to their large home range. Fragmented habitat takes a toll on them when they have to cross highways. Well, that was my one year adventure tracking and studying pine snakes. The most important thing to remember is habitat. These snakes can't live without the correct habitat. They need burrows like tortoise burrows and pocket gophers to survive. They need at least a few miles of, of area for their home range. So they actually need fairly large tracts of land and for them to stay in a large area, to be able to not compete with each other and overbreed, that's when they start moving, crossing highways, roads, and getting killed. The indigo snake, another large snake in Florida, needs an even larger home range. So right now, the most important thing to these animals is habitat preservation. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Thank you.